So, hello guys, I am Pinakine, and in today's video I am going to be showing you how you can use Unity Remote Mode 5 to test your Android games. So without further ado, let's get into it. So, to begin with, first we are going to finish all the mobile work. So first you need to head over to Play Store uh, and search for Unity Mode 5 and download it. I've already downloaded it, link in the description down below. So yep, after that head over to Settings and head over to About Phone section or something like that, it differs from devices. Then head over to System Software. And after that, find the build number of your phone and you need to click it five times. It will show uh, a notification like you're five steps away from developer, then four, then three, then two, and then one. Uh, as you can see, I've already enabled it, so it's showing you have already enabled developer mode. So now exit from there to the main menu and find developer options. You can find it in the bottom of the all the options. Then find USB debugging so you need to enable it uh, it's like a very important part so now we should be good to go and yep you also need a USB cable connected to your phone and then to your PC or laptop and then you will receive a notification of allow uh, do you want to allow this USB device to transfer some files and then click on yes and make sure in the settings that it's set to file transfer so after that let's do our PC work first launch up unity hub after that head over to installs then click on the three dots add module and then you'll find a uh, option named Android uh, kind of thing and then make sure that all the three check checkbox are checked the open jdk android sdk and ndk and the like the main one and then there you just need to click two buttons the steps uh, after that the steps are too easy to download it it's i know it's a bit large file like three gigabytes or some four but yeah you need them and if you downloaded some external Android SDK or JDK, just go ahead and delete it. You won't be needing it. So after that, let's launch up Unity. I'm going to create a new project. And then, yep. So first of all, head over to build settings and then change the platform to Android by clicking on it and clicking on switch platform. It might take some time, be patient. And yeah. After that, close it and head over to. I'm just quickly going to create a sample scene with some cubes stacked on top of each other. As you can see now, after that, head over to Edit, Project Settings, and then uh, on the Editor window. So after that, what you need to do is to click on the Device drop down menu and select any Android device. Uh, there will be only one or two options then and any Android device you need to click on any Android device after that head over to the preferences menu on the same edit bar and then uh, what you need to do is there are going to be three check boxes called uh, JDK use JDK installed within unity so you need to like uh, click on all these check boxes and there should not be any kind of sign like error like this that um, you're not using the recommended JDK, NTK, or SDK. If this happens, uh, like just try and rechecking it and or browse the files to match this. So my just ignore the error that I'm getting. Uh, it's completely working. Don't worry about it. It will work. If you have any problem, just write me in the comment section down below. Yep, after that, 
uh, we are ready to test it. So I'm quickly going to head over to the play menu and then click on play. And let's see the magic. So, as you can see, it worked. It's not that clear, but it works. If you have any problem, just comment me in this comment section down below. And yeah, that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and like if you like it. And goodbye.